Histology, a subject which for us is defined by two colors, pink and purple. And these are those colors which have painted our first year dark. Believe me guys, I used to hate astrology as much as you do now. But what if I tell you that we have worked out and we have made astrology more intuitive than it was ever before. We have simplified astrology. Uh, wait what? Well yes you heard me right. We have simplified astrology. And with this, welcome to our world. Welcome to Mitzi Lemons. So, let's start with the very basic idea first, right? Histology, as we all know, is the study of tissues. Now, to get a fine understanding of these microscopic structures, we take sections of tissue to study under the microscope. Now, as we know, majority of the tissues are colorless. So we stain them with dyes to observe them under the microscope. Now there are many methods of staining, but h &E method is the most commonly used one. Let us now talk about what a histologic section is. So histologic sections are thin flat slices of fixed and stained tissues and organs which are mounted on the glass slide. Okay. Under such sections, we normally see cellular components, fibrous and tubular structures. So fibrous structures are generally solid structures which are mainly composed of the connective tissue while tubular structures are hollow structures like blood vessels, ducts, glands. Okay, so now a question naturally comes to us that what are the ways in which we can obtain these tissue samples? So basically, there are three possible ways of taking the sections. First is longitudinal section. Here we take the section along the length of the tissue or organ. Second method is transverse section. Here we take the section along the diameter of the organ or the tissue. And the third option is taking an oblique section. So let's now learn about H and E stain in detail. So hematoxylin is a purple colored basic stain. To avoid any confusion, you can remember it as HB. We have HB pencils, so you can remember it that way. As it is a basic stain, so naturally it will stain all the acidic or basophilic structure present in the cell, purple. All of us know there are two acidic structures present inside the cell and that is DNA and RNA. So DNA present in the nucleus and RNA which is present on the ribosomes and also on the endoplasmic reticulum in RER. Apart from these two structures, some extracellular material like carbohydrate present in cartilage are also basophilic. So guys remember these structures, they will stain with hematoxylin dye. So eosin, eosin is a acidic pink colored dye. So naturally it will stain all the basic structures or eosinophilic structures which are present in the cells pink. So what are the basic structures present in cells? Most of the proteins present in the cytoplasm are basic, right? So eosin will naturally bind to the protein which is present in the cytoplasm and it will stain it pink. Now likewise, all the other proteinaceous substances like filaments in the muscle cell, the membranes and extracellular fibers, all of these stain with eosin dye. So guys, remember the structures which stain with hematoxylin and the structures which stain with eosin. 